Wow. So it's actually happened. I think this was one of those things that nobody thought the day was actually going to come. But according to Adam Schefter and a lot of the other main veteran reporters out there in the field, Tom Brady, after 22 years in the NFL, has retired from football. It is literally one of those things as a sports fan, like you'll always remember where you were. I remember where I was when I watched the Red Sox break the curse of the Bambino. I remember where I was where I saw the first Alabama National Championship with Nick Saban. And I'll never forget that I was just sitting here chilling in my office playing Fable 2 when I saw the Adam Schefter tweet that Tom Brady is retiring after seven Super Bowls, after however many MVPs he's had, the greatest quarterback of all time, arguably in like, this not arguably, it's factually, the best football player of all time and even arguably the greatest player in all of sports in history it's so weird it like doesn't feel real like the nfl is not going to feel real without tom brady in the league now a bunch of things we're going to talk about today we're going to kind of look at the nfl community and their reaction to tom brady retiring i'm actually going to give you my opinion on what i think is going to happen with tom brady what i think he'll actually do and some other things we need to touch on like what the heck happens to the tampa bay buccaneers now now, a bunch of things, but like, God, it's just like, it's just weird. It feels, it's like sad. Tom Brady is not going to be in the NFL anymore. I'm sure too that there's so many people out there that literally this has ruined their day. And like, I mean, there's a guy like Tom Brady. If you're a Patriots fan or just a Tom Brady fan, you've been watching this guy play football for 22 years and just like that, he's gone. But as we take a second, a moment of silence, let's take a quick listen to a word from today's sponsor. I would like to give a massive shout out to Prop Shop for sponsoring today's video. Prop Shop is a free tool designed to ensure that that users get the best value on their sports bets and to make informed decisions. They don't just offer data-driven betting tips, but rather they take all the hard work out of sports betting by collecting and analyzing all the relevant data, including odds, statistics, line movements, and more to provide users vital real-time information on the leagues they're interested in wagering on. Instead of just telling you, why don't I just show you? As you see, we're in the app. Obviously, upcoming games, we have the Bengals Chiefs AFC Championship game. You swipe right. Then you got the Rams 49ers NFC Championship game. You see some of the props for the upcoming games, and then you can go down and see all the crowd favorites. You see 78% pick the over for Joe Burrow's rushing yards, and you know what? I think I'll pick that too, and we'll, we'll go with the over. 88% pick Patrick Mahomes to throw over two and a half passing touchdowns. You know what? I like that. There's going to be a lot of points scored in that game. I'm going to go with the 89% that picked the over. You see the prop opportunities, the best value props. Okay, there's some interesting value you props here. Definitely gonna have to take a look at these when I'm making my picks. And you can see all the player trends right here and really see how they stack up to what their line is. You can even see some of the top prop performances and there's so much more you can look at. I think we're gonna go with one more. It's a tough one. It really is. I think we're gonna go with George Kittle over four and a half reception. 78.46% pick the over. We're gonna go with it as well. We're gonna go ahead, confirm right here. And as you see the odds, how much you'd win if you bet $100. And once again, the app is completely free to download and free to use without necessarily placing a real money bet. And not to mention that Prop Shop actually allows you to track your live bet's progress. And you can get started today by simply clicking the link in the description box below so you can download and install the Prop Shop app. Once again, just click the link in the description box below to get started with Prop Shop today. And just to really give you the full magnitude of this situation, like look at the interactions on this tweet. You never see a tweet with 130. 32,000 retweets, 220,000 favorites in just under an hour as Adam Schefter was the one to break. He's retiring after 22 extraordinary seasons, multiple sources tell Jeff Darlington and me. I do have to say though, take this with a grain of salt because he did tweet this from Tom Brady's agent just about eight minutes ago at the time I'm recording this. Speculation about Tom's future without getting into the accuracy or inaccuracy of what's being reported, Tom will be the only person to express his plans with complete accuracy. He knows the realities of the football business and planning calendar as well as anybody, so that should be soon. So I will say we maybe shouldn't take this as absolute gospel until Tom himself actually comes out and announces his retirement, but I'm pretty sure there like wouldn't be this many people saying this if this wasn't going to happen. And I have to say too, dude, 
Like, I didn't expect it to be like this, but maybe that's how it has to be. I didn't expect it to be a Tom Brady goes out in the division around the playoffs and retires there off of one of his best seasons he's ever had as a 44-year-old. He said so many times that he wanted to play till the age of 50, and he's also brought up multiple times throughout his career that he's going to hang it up whenever he feels like he can't perform anymore, and that's obviously not the case. The dude might win the MVP this season. So, to be completely honest, I am, like completely shocked that it came after a season like this. It would have made way more sense for him to retire after winning the Super Bowl last year. He seemed so adamant to come back. If you guys remember, he was super enthusiastic about coming back next season, so I'm wondering what happened. Is it like the whole entire Bucks drama with the AB stuff, or is it seriously just the fact that he wants to spend more time with family, which is a great reason. But like I said, it just doesn't seem like the right time for Tom Brady to retire, but at the end of the day, I mean, nobody knows what the right time is aside from him, but it's just still an absolute shocker. And I'm surprised he's made the decision so quick with this being Tom freaking Brady, dude. The season just ended. You would think he would take some more time to really think things through, but maybe this entire season he's had his mind made up. Who knows how long he's had his mind made up? Because from all the speculation and all the reports, nobody really in this inner circle really knew what he was going to do. So it still kind of shocks me that it came so quick after the season ended. Like the Super Bowl hasn't even happened, dude. Dude, this is just not the news I expected to see this afternoon. Literally everybody on my Twitter timeline is talking about Tom Brady. That's the impact this man did have on this sport. Like, I don't care what anybody says. There will never, there will never be another Tom Brady, dude. There won't be. We witnessed something that's probably never gonna happen again in the history of sports. Sports are too competitive. The league is too even. You're just not gonna see a guy play for as long as he did at such an optimal level that he did. It's just unbelievable. This is true. If Aaron Rodgers retired, like, there's going to be a whole new era. Like, everybody's going to be gone. The Mannings are going to be gone. Brady's are going to be gone. The Rodgers are going to be gone. The Drew Brees are going to be gone. If this is true and Tom does retire and Aaron Rodgers does go out this offseason too, we will be transitioning into a whole new generation of quarterbacks. It will now be the Mahomes, the Justin Herberts, the Lamar Jacksons, the Joe Burrows, the Ryan Tannehills, the Josh Allens. Those will now be the face of the NFL. The past 10, 15 years has been the Brady's and the Brees and the Rodgers and the Mannings and now it looks like they're all gonna be gone. To be fair too with what Ian Rappaport's saying right here, when he was on his podcast he was talking about putting his family first and I really got the vibe from that and that was really recent that this might actually be the time he retired. Like everybody thinks when they're watching Tom Brady last few games of the year, it's like oh he at least has another season or so left in him, especially playing at the level that he's been playing at. Julian Edelman's even weighing in so I, I feel like if this wasn't legit, Julian Edelman wouldn't be tweeting out. And it's sad because you just know there's gonna be all the Twitter trolls that won't give him the praise that he deserves, but this guy, undoubtedly the greatest quarterback, the greatest and most accomplished NFL player of all time, and it's just, it's seriously not going to be the same at all. Oh. To be fair, this one does make a lot of sense. I, you are glad it's his call. You're glad it's Tom Brady's call. I think he's earned that right. It's not because of an injury. It's not because his performance just started to dip, because obviously that's not the case. It's his it's his call, and a guy that's had such an impact in the sport he's been a part of, I think he has definitely earned the right to call it quits whenever he feels fit. And this is true, too. More than likely, Gronk is going to retire. Like, literally, the only reason Gronk came back was to have a chance to play with Tom again on the Buccaneers. They won a Super Bowl, and, like, I am pretty sure Gronk is going to be gone, too. Like, so much is going to happen here in the next few months. It really is going to take a long time to sink in. It's really not going to feel real until we start to watch next regular season, and there's just no sign of Tom Brady. And it really is crazy. I don't think anybody really understands what we got to witness. We got to witness 22 years of absolute nonsensical play from this human being. I just really didn't think it was going to happen. I don't think anybody did. Hold on, what about Laser Beam? He's had to have tweeted something. I know he's a huge Tom Brady stan. Yep, Tom Brady's retiring. One of my life inspirations, and that's the case for so many people, dude. Like, for example, Laser Beam Australian. Like, the fact that we have an Australian who loves this guy so much shows how much of an impact Tom Brady had in the sport and kind of expanding it across the globe. Just using him as an example, do you think a guy of laser beam status would be an NFL fan if it wasn't for Tom Brady? No. And the fact of the matter is, we might lose a lot of those. There's so many people that literally across the world know NFL just because of Tom Brady. Like, maybe that ends up being they know the NFL because of the Mahomes of the world, but this Tom Brady was a different animal the first of his 
his kind, really, to dominate the sport at the level that he did for as long as he did. There's honestly probably so many people out there that feel the same exact way. Well, this is new. Apparently, PFF just tweeted the TB12 Sports account, which is Tom Brady's company, deleted this tweet around Tom Brady's retirement. Seven Super Bowl rings, five Super Bowl MVPs, three MVPs, 22 seasons. Thank you for it all, but they deleted it. I don't think that means one more year. I think they just jumped the gun. They want to wait on Tom Brady to, like, announce it himself. And this is kind of where I wanted to take things to. This is A.J. Brown, Titans wide receiver superstar. I truly believe Tom isn't done playing football. The urge to want more is going to drive him insane. So what's next for me is all you know. I think he'll relax for a few days or weeks, but his mind of an ultimate competitor will soon speak to him again. Now, I do believe, like, the problem with this is, is eventually it's going to have to come to an end. And you could say this every single time. Even if he was 52 years old, dude, still playing football, he would still have the urge to, to want more. So I don't believe this is going to be the ultimate deciding factor, but I would not be shocked if Tom Brady did sit out for a season, maybe just one season, and comes back for maybe a year or two. I would not be shocked if that happened because it really does give me Brett Favre vibes. I doubt Tom Brady would retire, come back 65 times, but it would not shock me at least for one season, maybe two or three years down the line because Tom Brady, we all know, will probably keep in tip-top shape. And if anybody's going to be able to come back to the NFL after like being out for a year or two, it, it would be Tom Brady. I really could see a team that is a quarterback away after next season trying their absolute greatest to pry Tom Brady out of retirement for one final year and one final chance to win a Super Bowl. And I feel like if there's a team good enough that could potentially entice him to come out of retirement for a Super Bowl run, maybe he gives it one more shot in a year or two. In my opinion, I do think he will not be playing football next season, but I, I would probably put it like a 25% chance he comes back for at least one more year, a year or two down the line. Now, what the heck do the Buccaneers do at quarterback? Like, I'm sorry, Buccaneers fans. You're kind of screwed. <laughs> like, at the end of the day, Tom Brady literally is when the success came, and you have to be grateful for it. You have to be grateful for the fact that Tom Brady, you got to watch him play for your team. Not only that, you got to see Tom Brady in your franchise win a Super Bowl. So you might lose some pieces, including Tom Brady and some other players that were there just for Tom Brady, but I think maybe these next few years of rebuilding, in my opinion, if it was the Titans, I would be glad, and I would take it. Anything for a freaking Super Bowl ring. They could give the job to one of either Kyle Trask or Blaine Gabbert. I think Bruce Aries he's gonna stay I think he didn't he already come out saying he's staying but there's just no way you go from Tom Brady to either Blaine Gabbert or Kyle Trask and even have a fraction of the success they previously had the last two years I think if they want to have any chance of keeping up what they've had going on the last few years at least like making the playoffs year in and year out they're gonna have to either acquire somebody through a trade or through free agency and who's really gonna want to try and take over for Tom Brady like that is gonna be a tough spot in Tampa Bay I'm sorry for you Tampa Bay fans but not really though you got a Super Bowl wow dude Tom Brady actually retired what the heck